and me and Dom been here four years and been through all the stuff. And I was like, dang, you know, we got a talented freshman and we can get out and, you know, we outrun people, we're faster than people. And, you know, that showed in the beginning of the season, we was killing people in transition and um, just, uh, just crazy athletic, honestly. Yeah, there was definitely a, a play when I knew Malik had talent. Uh, I think he dunked on Dylan. I think it was our, it was our first pickup. <laughs> And he dunked straight on Dylan for like the game point. And it was like, oh my gosh, why you even jump with him? And stuff like that though. But each of them were different. Uh, Bam, he couldn't uh, suit up for the summer workout though. But seeing highlights of him, he was a, he was a beast. Uh, and Fox, incredible speed. Uh, he shot the lights out during the summer. So I thought he was like a shooter too. So, but everybody brought in something different. And this was a talented group. Blows by Gilmore into the lane, dishes to Monk, who fires down a right hand slam. That's when you're beating teams by that much, you're thinking that you're unstoppable, and uh, it gives you great motivation for your next game to compete at a high level. And I just felt like uh, at that time that we just was just playing basketball for real. And uh, Coach was just telling us, get the ball and go. And we don't need plays, we can just play basketball. Bahamas was uh, fun. Uh, uh, been, we went there twice, actually. We went there our sophomore year as well. We went on the Lazy River once, and, and I accepted that. And then I went on a couple slides. Dom was just like, yeah, like I'll, I'll go ride him. Yeah, sure, whatever. And dude, he was screaming and freaking out and all that stuff. Oh, my god. We, it, was, it was just fun, though. It was, it was super fun. A monk touch pass to Gabriel for reverse slam. Oh, that's coming up on Sports Center tonight. Remind me of Odell Beckham. Literally, like, it was crazy catch. And, for him to do it on like one foot, catching like that, and then still hit Winion, win, you know, reverse dunk or whatever, it was just yeah. a crazy play. It was, it was nasty. Oh, man, that's, that's, it's ridiculous just how hard it is for guys to get triple doubles. The players that have came through here for, I mean, all the years that they've won national championships and even the years he's been here and the players he's had, it's just a cousin of how hard it is. And uh, I mean, I did it. I can't do anything but thank my teammates, my coaches, and God. It's not just that he had a bunch of baskets, he made like daggers that gave us a chance. And Monk on the dribble. Against Barry, nice crossover, up and in. Woo! Monk got it. Oh! He hit another one. Cold blooded. And a classic in the desert has come to an end with Kentucky prevailing 103 100 over North Carolina. Uh, Coach Cal told me to drive, but, uh, but I was hot, so I, I just talked. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a brick thrown up, it looks like intentionally, by Derek Willis to get, guess what? Isaiah Briscoe a rebound. He's got the triple-double. Tennessee upsets Kentucky. Kansas Jayhawks pick up an enormous road win. When you lose, you learn. You know, you could look back, oh, this is what we did wrong. This is where we could have, you know, made a change and maybe we win and just different stuff like that. So um, I think it was kind of good for us and kind of allowed us to lock in and, uh, buy into uh, each other and you know what the coaches were wanting us to get done for the games and all that. So uh, yeah, definitely prepares for postseason. Willis again. Why not? Derek Willis on the run. Leaves it for Willis. How about it, Doug? Derek Willis. Wow. Gets it back and it's going up. Lots of What a game for number five again. Well, he's on a great winning streak, and uh, the reboot uh, as well as helping us out to win. He was getting excited. He was on a roll. I thought we was peaking at uh, the perfect time. And um, I mean, obviously, you're not going to you're gonna have a little mistakes you make in any game you play. But I mean, we was playing, I thought, the best basketball of anybody in the nation, without a doubt. And you know, just uh, it was looking real good for us. All I could think about is just it was my last game. Uh, as soon as I woke up, uh, waking up, just eating breakfast, I really couldn't even eat much. Uh, I was nervous. I don't know why I was nervous, though, but just because it's my last game at Rupp, I guess, and uh, entering in the building, uh, I usually go out a little early. I just sat in and just relax, just to try to get my mind focused more. And uh, once uh, the walkout, when we walk out, uh, it was amazing. Everybody erupted and clapped for us. And then the game starts, I'm still nervous. Uh, I remember I was just dribbling the ball and the ball just slips out of my hand. I'm like, dang, he's probably gonna take me out. But coach just told me to calm down because he knew how nervous I was. There's just a lot of, a lot of emotions, definitely. Uh, I think I got nervous though when I went to propose to Keeley and like everything was good. I was actually smooth. Uh, I think Miss Cal, I about tripped Miss Cal up about, <laughs> about 
broke her neck, but uh, <laughs> no, I went to uh, put the ring on Keely's like finger or whatever, and I seen her hand like this, and I was like, dude, like stay still, because like now I'm shaking <laughs> now, like we couldn't like feel like I wasn't linking up with her, so uh, no, uh, but no, I mean that, that's what really made me nervous right there. And then uh, once the game started though, I got my feet under me and kind of got to play a little bit. That's when I was like, all right, yeah, well it's just you know, another game, let's get it done, get the win. As we are underway in Nashville, Hawkins follow up by Bam. Oh my, Farnham! SEC play. I think Dom was the whole reason we won and went as far as we did because I mean we was down. We bring Dom and he's over here uh, pressuring people, uh, make, having turnovers, making turnovers and stuff for the other team, and, and it just brought a lot to the table. But I don't think a lot of people really uh, realize that, you know, as, as the games went on. I haven't got an award since I've been here before, so uh, it's been a long time for, for myself to get an award, and I appreciate it, and I'm blessed to be able to get that award. And uh, my teammates, uh, I, I just felt like they was they were so proud of me, like, of what I've done, and uh, I wanted to continue it on during the tournament for them. The Kentucky Wildcats, the number two seed out of the SEC. How about us? You do this, what you just did. We're starting to come together. We have all guys getting better as players. We're coming together, and now we got spring break where we can say, let's, let's focus on us. We just prepare for, you know, the toughest bracket. I feel like that's, you know, generally just how it's going to be. I mean, we, why not have it that way? You know, you have the best games, and, and when you go out, you know, still be all teams, and you could say, well, you know, look at look at the way we had it, and you know, we still came out, and, you know, beat everybody. 25-21, Holland trapped out front, throws it off the leg of Willis. He comes up with it, bounces ahead to Fox, drives and dunks. Playing Northern Kentucky right off the bat was that was a tough game. I thought, I mean, you know, uh, you had kind of like a split fan base. You know, you have people obviously from Northern Kentucky who are probably UK fans as well, but you don't want to see you know Northern Kentucky school do good. So that was kind of a tough game, I thought. It's back to Shaman, a steal by Fox. Fox running the other way, slam dunk. I mean, Wichita State, you know, we have a history with them, I think, in the tournament. So, you know, they was ready for us. Got through that. Between his legs, two seconds. Fox in a mile. And the Cats will be walking in Memphis in the Sweet 16. Kentucky, 86. UCLA, 75. And a night to remember. And then, I mean, beating UCLA, UCLA was good. I, I really... I thought we owed them one. I think they kind of squeaked one out on us in the beginning of the season, and um, you know they ended up getting that win. But we got the win when it mattered. Back to Humphreys, 18 footer straight away. Yes! My goodness! And then, you know, hit North Carolina, and they uh, had a dude back who didn't play against us. And um, I mean, like I said, they kind of paid us back in a sense too. I mean, we hit a you know, like crazy shot against them. Malik did, and then they go have that one dude you know, hit his shots. So, I mean, people probably remember me, Bob, just working hard. Um, a lot of people say I was the heart and soul of the team at times. Uh, I'm just a player from Kentucky. I um, grew up from here, and his dreams was made. So, you know, the roller coaster of the career I kind of had here, you know, a um, big part was, you know, the same as Dom, you know, working and, you know, staying patient and just, you know, waiting for the right moment and taking advantage of it. Uh, we had a hell of a season. You know, we went through that stretch and we lost those games. And, Everybody, everybody talked about you know how we looked like we didn't care, and you know this isn't the locker room that looked like the guys don't care. <laughs> I love my brothers, man. And everybody talked about how young we were and that we weren't gonna make it this far. You know, um, I mean, you know, we won the SEC regular regular season championship. We won the we won the tournament championship, but we're looking for bigger bigger things. You know, we were winning games, coming in here looking like, you know, nothing happened. And uh, that just showed that we had bigger goals and, you know, getting to where we were. But it was a great season. And I love these guys.